first grade. Today we are going to paint our robots. The background, all of the space behind your robot, is going to stay white for now because we are going to use a different technique to stain the background next time. But first we're going to paint our robot. At your table in between you, you have four different colors that you can use to paint your robot. These are liquid watercolors. Be careful, they stain. You don't want to get it all over you. Make sure you're wearing a smock. And all you have to do is kind of dip your brush in. They're very br vibrant, which means bright. And you are going to paint your robot. The black crayon kind of keeps the paint in place. When you want to change color, you want to rinse your brush. Try not to mix the colors all up. We want to, them to stay the same for the next person that uses them. So you are just going ahead, dipping your brush in, painting inside the areas, taking your time, making sure that they don't run and touch together. You can see all of the different colors that I put in front of you. And that black crayon kind of helps keeps those colors in place so that they don't move into different sections. So if I wanted to paint the buttons, um, I would then go ahead and grab the color and usually it'll stay because the black crayon is there and it doesn't run together. That's the kind of neat part of doing that. Now if you want something to stay white, you just won't paint it, but I don't want you to make tell me that your entire robot needs to stay white because I really want you to paint him and have fun with liquid watercolors. So after this is done being painted completely, you are going to put it on the drying rack. Remember to carry it like a pizza. Sometimes liquid watercolors can be pretty runny and you don't want them to drip while you are taking it over there and your whole painting kind of mishmashes together. Okay, so we've got orange, green, blue, and I like a pink color to do all of the coloring. So think about what the function is of what's going on, like this light bulb might be this yellow color because it's, it's blinking. You can also paint over the top of the blinking marks. Uh, but other than that, just have fun with it and try to be nice and careful. All right, thank you for listening.